even happen, but we slept pretty good. Um, it's like 10.30. We're going to head down to the buffet, have some breakfast with the people, <clears throat> watch the hockey games last night. Uh, Jack Hughes, huh? Got him in my fantasy draft. If you're a hockey fan, you watch this kid play, he's going to be a weapon. He's going to be a monster, this one. Um, me? Yep. What's that thing? Huh? What? Oh, it scared the <laughs> shit out of me. What's that thing? Time's about 10.30. What's the time? <laughs> you don't have any sort of watch in your room? What about a cell phone? That's crazy, huh? So we're gonna have breakfast at 30. We're going to uh, have a coffee. I don't like the way they make coffee out here. I just don't. I don't know. It's like all espresso-ish. And even the Americano, it's like, they're too small. Like, you know, sizable coffee. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna have a little breakfast. Jump in right on time for noon. Grind this main event all day. Hello, people. There's my breakfast woman. Oh, there yeah. The other one. Yeah, this one right here. She's my breakfast lady. And say hi to the people. <laughs> yeah, she's the one bring me breakfast every day. But we're gonna, good morning. Yeah, so we're gonna have, uh, I've said this 17 times. Guess what we're gonna do right now? Have a little breakfast. And then buy in for um, the tournament, start on noon. Have a long day of grind, seven 90 minute levels with uh, really deep stacks. How you doing? There is a re entry. We probably won't even need it. I mean, very unlikely because we're good at poker. You. We are buying in the main event early. Thanks to these fine gentlemen over here who let me bud the line. Thank you very much. <laughs> Cheers, people. Good luck in the tournament. Thank you. Excuse me. All right, back to the room. Shower time. Hello, Daniel. Hello. May I bother you for a sign on your book? A sign? Yeah, autograph. Book? Yeah. Let's do it. Let's okay, it is 11.58 p.m. right now. I think, no, a.m. And the tournament starts in two minutes, but it will not start in two minutes. So here's the deal. I guess noon in Europe, you know, here is a really early start time and people don't really show up on time. So this is part of the reason as I had, I want to create a series of events where novel idea, get this, where everybody shows up around at the same time. And then if you lose your chips, you're out of the tournament. Oh, crazy, I know, but I think it just might work. I get why people do re-entry craziness and late reg, it's because you're trying to maximize profit in your venue. Makes sense. Problem is, I think a lot of people get turned off by it, frankly. I'm one of them, really. I hate your entries. I take advantage of them because why not? But like, I'd much rather play poker where you can put a guy to the test in the early levels where, you know, if he if he calls and he loses, he's out. Old school, I don't know. All right, so here we go. We are underway here in the World Series Poker main event. We got a few people here. This guy over here begging to be on the freaking vlog. Wait, didn't you just say you wanted to be on the vlog? So bad. I have privacy. Please, please, Mr. Mr. I don't know you. Shoot a big hand. This is all right. Hello. Number one poker reporter in the world. Surely. Okay, we're gonna play some poker here. Number one. Played with worse chips, but like the 500s and the 1Ks, which are very similar. I've already misclicked once. It's cost me 700 against this gentleman. But like, look over there. Do you see the difference? I don't know if it shows up as on camera, but when you put them together like that, I literally have no idea. So this is gonna suck. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any 500s now. Here, here, there's a difference yeah. here. Oh, I'm in the frame! Who's <laughs> 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 here to play with us in the main event? People missed you yesterday, Alan. You know what they miss? They miss the chainsaw corner. So let's start that off with a question. What are you most upset about today? That you screwed me over with the wrong scheduling, so I missed day one. Because... It wasn't my fault. How is that my fault? I don't know. They didn't tell us till we showed up, like in the moment. Yeah, I wanted to play that. Yeah. I had your, uh, your strategy all figured out. I was going to do it. Yeah, so you're upset. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm also sorry. <laughs> is this guy a good player? He looks like a good player. I'm not so sure yet. 
It's too early to tell. What'd you have, Queen? Oh, sorry. Damn, yeah, still action. <laughs> what do you want, Alan? Give me ball soup, noodles, and chicken. And you're serious, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah give me. I will come serve. Give me just you think every Israeli just has it? Huh? Kosher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You think because he's Jewish, he just has some in his pocket? No, he's from Kenta Group. They may have I hate that picture. people are racist on the table. It's crazy. <laughs> He thinks you have matzo ball soup in there somewhere, uh, right? Well, I think he likes it, my matzo ball soup. They do good. have it, right? It's called... Not gulas, it's called... That's what's important. It's huh? in the tray that, that was in, that had pork and whatever yeah. else. It, do, it doesn't really matter. So you're saying he's not kosher, it's the not. food in the box. Basically, basically, you, God don't see nothing outside of Israel. Yeah, but okay? if, you're gonna, so if you put kosher food in something that had the, those pork morsels in it, you're still, it's still not kosher. Unless if you don't know. I know that it was It like doesn't that. count cheating if you don't get cut. <laughs> Who said it? <laughs> the greatest El Bandi. So because, go ahead. I don't even eat something that's next to the pork product. Really? So, so you're also Jewish? Yes. But so how many is, Jewish do we have on the, on the table? The problem is when you put the kosher food in the tray that has a the pork in it, it's still going to have pork residual stuff on it. <laughs> okay. Lessons in kosher cooking. No, but I, okay. <laughs> Mr. Alan Kessler. I'm afraid to eat anything that cuts pork. This is probably the highlight of the vlog. Yeah, yeah it's going to be good. People, people <laughs> they love Alan. They fell in love. You're, you're, you're going to like uh, catch the whole Jewish uh, community. Yes, yeah. I for sure. There are like millions of people. Yeah. Say there. Today, we could play PLOA. I don't know, the, the mix of events here, were, you know, you, you, you'd have to make a decision with these guys and whether or not the mix or the PLOA is better. But it was a completely open they were day. both pretty yeah. shitty, if you ask me. I mean, one had 70 something, one had 90 something. But more importantly, Alan, how's it going with your new friend, the girl? Getting anywhere or what? I barely talked to her for two Okay, what'd you say to her? We want to know, like, what was the pickup line? Did you have one? She was laughing. She, I don't know. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Always good to make a girl laugh. That's good, right? What you, so what are you, what's your next play? We were talking about you, Moses. <laughs> well, that's not a good play. You gotta, you gotta take the conversation different place, you know? What's her sign, do you know? No idea. Come on, man. <laughs> Alan, I set Alan up with, uh, because he asked for a skinny girl who's also Asian. I think I found him one. A skinny Asian girl? Yeah. And he's she, complaining still? Well, I don't know. He's just not taking her to... He should qualify. He, he should have... She, she qualified? She qualified! Qualified! All right! <laughs> What do we got, buddy? Huh? I walk in and the lady says to me, she says to me, 6 o'clock. 6 p.m.? Yes. <laughs> Who said 6 p.m.? Yeah. 6 p.m., you know his schedule. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Wait, 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 what? What? <laughs> they love him. They love Alan over here. Alan, this is, they're not Asian though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, see what, you see what bothers me here? What's this? Oh, so the pork is next to the... Yeah. That's a problem. Yeah. So what are you going to do, Alan? Really All right, we are on the first break. As you can see, 94.7 is what we have. Start with 100K. So it's really going. We don't have a good table. A pretty bad table, considering. But, uh, you know, hey, it's early. Main event, getting, just, getting settled, just getting settled in here. Hey, Alan, explain to the people what's the problem right now. Well, he wants to move this empty <clears throat> stack because they didn't show up. But I'm saying if he walked up to the table and didn't like it, and he's guaranteed to get moved, that doesn't seem 100% legitimate. There's an angle? He wouldn't He wouldn't know that he was getting moved. Yeah, he wouldn't know. I mean, if you're going to move him, <laughs> go ahead. At least we get a live player here. So that's why I was saying. So now neither way seems to be fair. Because first we were saying that that was bad that he was not here. <laughs> and now I'm gonna move him, and now that's bad. So which is the lesser of two evils? I'm not. I'm not really sure, but. Uh... Well, let's think about it for a minute before I move. Yeah. Let's, we'll hold on for just a second. 
<laughs> okay, uneventful to say the least. We're at 104.9 and level two. Chips have not fluctuated between 93,000 and 105,000. That's been like the day so far after three hours of play. Um, Show one. One card. No? For the vlog, for the vlog, show where two cards. <laughs> All right, we got 86.6 to end level three. We just lost the hand right before the break. Played every hand perfectly. So I want to tell you a couple things. First of all, small ball is a relatively boring strategy, but it works, okay? Um, up until that hand, the biggest bet we were involved in was 4K from us, where we had a flush. Just now, we put in more, and I've, <laughs> I've read the guy way too good. Came queen, eight, five with two spades. I have king, ten of spades. Turns a king. I bet three thousand the flop. Turn uh, river king. Turn king. I bet six thousand. He called. River's a nine. I'm like, you have ten jack all day and twice on Sunday, and I know it. So I, he checks. I check back, and then uh, how you doing, man? And of course he had the ten jack, so we lost that pot. Another hand earlier, I hit an ace on the river. The guy checked to me. I'm like, oh, I know what you're doing. You're check raising me. So zoned in. Um, just haven't had anything happen yet, but uh, it's early, so. You know, just going to continue to do the small ball thing. Trust, trust me, this works. And we're going to have a big stack by the end of the day. Especially if we keep avoiding all the traps, which we will. All right. We just busted first bullet about 10 minutes before dinner break. What a goofy f four levels. So I just, nothing was working and nothing was happening. Like we just losing every hand. About 70 active player who's a good player smart guy um israeli he uh he raises it up we call the queen ten of clubs okay let's do a hand breakdown okay it's an interesting one so i built up enough uh squeezer vig as, as phil Locke used to call it which is uh you know tight play not really bluffing doing anything crazy so the setup was good now he raises, we call with queen, 10 of clubs. He made it 1800, we call. The big blind also calls. So three-way action, we have queen, 10 of clubs. Comes queen, nine, four, one club. First player checks in the big blind. He bets 4,500, It's kind of big sizing. But we call with the queen, 10, it's pretty standard. Now, to my surprise, the big blind over calls. Okay. So, <laughs> no. Uh, so the turn was a seven, okay? Check, check to me. I decide, you know, the big blind, it's, it's really strange. Like, he could have a straight draw, but he could also have two pair. He could have a set. Um, not too worried about giving off a free card here. So I uh, check back. We can maybe get some value in the river. A lot of good things can happen. Seems like a good hand in my range to check back. Well, the river comes a... Eight. So it fills the 10 jack straight, right? First player checks. Now our guy who raised preflop bets, and we have a 10 blocker to the 10 jack. Now he bets 14K and we have 64K. So we have the rebuy situation too, whatever. Now this is a really great spot. Like what do I possibly have if I move in here? The nuts, always, right? Like he knows that, he knows, you know, that I'm always playing pretty solid in these spots and I'm never actually bluffing because there's no real hand other than like King 10 or something. I just, I just not be bluffing here. So I move in, he thinks for a long time. He calls me with the five, six of clubs. So just fucking weird shit kept happening like that. Like it came perfect, perfect for him to make straight. Like our queen was obviously good, turned it into a bluff. So that's actually good time to just get rid of that stack, all that energy, the table kind of sucked anyway. And um, just get ready to, 
you know, restart on bullet two after a one hour dinner break. Perfect timing. Alrighty, it is 10 p.m. The, the nap ran a wee bit long, but it's okay. We, we ended up, we're, we're skipping, well, we skipped the, what was it, 400, 800 blind level, and we're gonna be jumping into this 510, and then we've got the 612 in the night. Obviously, we're on our last bullet here in the main event, so have to be careful about the ambitious bluffs, although you know what, I mean, really, the guy, it doesn't, you know, he, five, six is not an easy call, because it's like, I have 10 jack or what, but anyway, we're over that, I'm gonna jump right in here, play our A game, fresh and ready to go, kick some butt. In other news, I just saw a tweet from Mr. Andrew Yang, Yang Gang, what's up, blue hat, math, you know, make America think harder, who he just in endorsed online poker, saying that uh, you know, it's legal in four states, should be legal in all 50, make it work, because duh, obvious. So once again, logic, practical, smart, all the things. So if you're a poker player, you want to see online poker, Andrew Yang just might be your guy. All right, we are on our second bullet, and look who we found. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Are you still on your first bullet? Are you on your first bullet? Yeah. And you proposed to Carmen? Yeah. What did she say? Did she consider it? about you. I said he's already married. Oh, so she said no. <laughs> you were a little forward. Yes. Marriage is quick. That's not part of our uh, pickup line. If you saw the top she was wearing today, you would have proposed to her. <laughs> what, was it quite revealing? You liked it? We did a video, me uh, with, uh, yeah. I don't know who that was. So her top made her uh, marriage worthy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Playing against the world's greatest here. Get it. Three, four, five. <laughs> What did you show? What did you show? Ace. Oh wow! God. Alan Kessler on camera with the Stone Cold the Bluff. <laughs> That's gonna be embarrassing, Sam. Oh my yes, goodness! It was, it was the best <laughs> Just you see that no club on the board. Just yeah. pure ass. Totally nothing. Alan Kessler with the new gear. He bluffed big time. Absolute error. Bluff. <laughs> All right, we are uh, going into the last level of the night. One break left. We've got about 110,000 and we are following this gentleman because he wants to go say hi to who? Who are you going to say hi to? We're going to go see if he's still there or not. Yeah, you like her, huh? It's okay. You like her, huh? She's yeah. not half my age. So? What's that got to do with it? She's over 18. Huh? Let's go see if she's there. Okay, but what are we going to say to her? Let's see if we can ask her about you. No, but I mean, what do you want to say to her? Like, how do we, how do we make this happen? Say something nice. Tell her she looks nice or something like that. Tell her she has a nice personality. You like her? I don't know. Oh, something. She she there she goes. All right. Yeah, right? Hi, everybody. Hi. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. I have a question. Yes. You really don't remember that we used to Oh, we didn't date. Come on. Don't be silly. Don't mess with Alan's head. It's not true, Alan. She's just I being I silly. I asked her to marry me on the last break. She he asked you to marry Did he come up with a ring? No ring? I would like to have a picture with you. You would? Okay. Huh? We used to play his up every night. What? <laughs> Jesus. Oh, nothing, Alan. Cover your ears. Yes? Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Okay. Last one, right? <laughs> yeah, I know. I know how this works. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Last one, I know. Everyone said last one. All right. I think it might be. Okay. So, that's one of the funniest things. Like, you know, you're, you're taking pictures of people, and then a guy goes, last one, last one. I'm like, according to you, like, but there's other people that are going to want one. Ain't no last one. It's all good, though. It's part of the process, part of... What, you know, being in the public eye, 
uh, how do I say this? It, it's part of the deal, right? I mean, people are interested. They might only get one chance to meet you. So they want to take a picture. They want something. And, uh, you know, I mean, it's just like, I don't know. It just feels like a no-brainer to say yes. What am I supposed to say no? Be an absolute, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right, looks like we bagging last hand of the night. Sophia Lovegren. Remember yes. her? Yeah, he uh, can ask. Awesome day today. Yeah, she's doing good. A lot of chips hasn't moved. I've been jumping around because, you know, I busted and everything. But we are going to be done here because we've got uh, no more hands left to play. We start at noon tomorrow. So time to bag and tag. Um, yeah, good job on the second bowl. What do I think? What do I think? 166. Seven? Three. Plenty. Average is 148. We'll be playing. <laughs> 6,200. Oh no, 8 and 16 tomorrow. 8 and 16 tomorrow. All right, so we're happy with the stack we got, you know? Um, didn't look good after that first bullet, got some sleep. Now we're gonna watch some hockey. Because we got daylight savings time, which is a dumb thing, but it is what it is. So we get an extra hour, which is fantastic. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get a good night's sleep and have a nice run on day two. Here we go. <laughs> See y'all. Look, look. They're right here. Look, waiting for Alan right now. He's waiting for you. How much? How much? How much what? How much is he? How much money does he have? Does he charge for sex? <laughs> I don't know what he's charged for. What? What's up, buddy? How you doing? All right. I don't know what she's charged for. She's funny, man. She's always coming back with some one-liners. I don't always understand them, but hey. Hot tea, chamomile, bedtime. See y'all. Hockey night in Canada. Oh yeah. Get a little Don Cherry action, eh? Toronto, Montreal. That's what's up. Hockey night in Canada in Rosvidov.